Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we trust that you are keeping warm and dry on this cold winter's day. We are on our way to a property in Windsor Park after obtaining a court order from the Kales River Magistrates Court. Our inspector was denied access to the property and that has prompted us to obtain the court order. Um, this means that we will now go with the City of Cape Town's law enforcement to enforce the court order. And um, with their assistance, we will then enter the property and we will be able to see exactly what is going on inside the property as our inspector has not been able to gain access to the property. And therefore we're not 100% sure what's going on inside the property, but we do know that some of the animals on the property is in dire um, need of intervention and they emaciated and starved. And um, yeah, so we, we're on our way to the property and we will see what we find when we get there. Um, this is a live video, so unfortunately we cannot um, preempt what's going to happen, um, whether the situation is going to turn volatile or whether um, the people will swear or, or use foul language. So we apologize in advance for any such um, crude language being used it is unfortunately out of our control. Um, as I say, it is a live video. So um, yeah, we're just waiting for, for law enforcement to catch up with us. And then um, we will then make our way to the property. So just bear with us as we make our way to the property. Normally when we execute our court orders, we do take either the police or the city of Cape Town's law enforcement with us for our safety, because um, these situations can turn volatile easily, um, or people become obstructive and, and prevent us from executing our statutory mandate in terms of the Animals Protection Act. Now in this particular case, um, the owner or occupant on the property when the inspector arrived claimed that she didn't have a key to open the gate and the inspector was unable to gain access to the property. Uh, that means that our inspector was basically denied um, access and the inspector went back again to, to try and gain access to the property again, but unfortunately um, there has been no compliance from the owner or the occupants on the property, which then prompted us to obtain the court order today from the Kales Rivers Magistrates Court. So we currently um, live in Windsor Park uh, for those that um, has just joined. Um, we with um, the City of Cape Town's law enforcement and we have a court order to enter a property to conduct an investigation um, to see what conditions the animals are living in inside the property. So follow us um, on this journey today, see what we find um, see what our inspectors have to face on a daily basis and um, yeah, just follow us. As we said, this is a live video. We cannot um, preempt what's going to happen. We don't know if the situation will turn volatile or if anyone would use foul or crude language. So please bear with us. Um, the video might end at any stage should there be um, any reason for us to end it um, for our safety or that of uh, the law enforcement officers. So bear with us and we're arriving at the property now. And um, yeah, join us as we execute this court order and we will see the conditions of the animals on the property today. So we've just arrived at the property here and um, we will see what we find on the property. Follow us as we go to see what's going on. Law enforcement have joined us. Chief Inspector Peterson is here um, with members of our inspectorate team at the property. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you that just joined us, we live here in uh, Windsor Park today in Pride Fontaine. Um, we've got a court order from the Kells River Magistrate Court to enter a property. 
our inspector, uh, Lindo, who's been here, is leading the case today. He's just coming back from his vehicle now. He's attempted to gain access to the property previously and um, was unfortunately unable to, to gain access. Um, the occupant claimed she didn't have a key. He then returned to the property and again was unable to gain access. So we're here today with a court order to see what's going on inside. Hello? So there's cars in the in the driveway, which means there's people here, but they just don't come out. Let's see. Our inspectors, with Chief Inspector Peace and Law Enforcement, will try and raise the occupant. As uh, the Chief Inspector said, there are vehicles in the property, and we can see two dogs through the fence, um, but nobody is responding to their calls at the moment. So we're just trying to get the attention of the property occupants, um, but we're not seemingly getting anywhere with it. Either no one is home or they deliberately not opening for us, but it's impossible having two vehicles in the front driveway and not being at home. But let's see, I'm going to climb over and see if we can. The court order that we've obtained allows our inspectors, accompanied by law enforcement, to gain access to the property. Um, they have been trying to raise the owners. Um, we think there's a development where someone is now, apparently the owner is on the way up the road. So we know 
Dogs are so hungry, it's not even fun. Their ribs are clearly visible and showy. Protection Act, read together with Regulation 468. It's for your property. It gives us the right to enter the property. It gives us the right to examine the animals, search the property for any animals inside the house or on the property. Um, we also have the right to bring in SPCA officials as well as law enforcement, and we have the right to seize any animal if we feel okay, it's necessary to mind, prevent cruelty. Can I just call someone to? Read this, please. You're welcome to find it's whatever you like, but we're going, going to go. Um, we're going to go ahead with our work. Okay. But right. it's my good friend, my brother. Like like I told the people before, it's like my brother is in Joburg. They the work sent him there. So the the one I'm going to call now is a good friend of mine. He knows everything. You can find whoever you like. You can find your lawyer. But I'm going to give you a copy. Okay, I'm just going to try this for the. And case. we're going to go ahead. So you can walk with us while you find. How many animals do you have on the property? Four. Four? Yeah, but the, the, the two at the back is not mine. It's my daughter's, but I'm just waiting for her to move in a bigger, uh, to a place. She's not here at the moment. She's in by at my other house. So who's responsible for the animals as we speak now? Me. You are? Yeah. Okay. All right. And why are these dogs are underweight? Um, the, like I, can I speak in Afrikaans? You can Afrikaans speak Okay, okay. But you're saying to me there's four animals, but there's cats inside as well. Yeah, but... They're also animals. But you find your good friend that you want to find. We're going to proceed so long. Here's a copy of the court order, ma'am. Okay, just hold on, please. Okay. So we're now just going into the back of the property to see what animals are at the back, yeah? dogs, puppies on the property. As you can see, this black one is also very underweight. Uh, there's feces lying around here that's not been cleaned up. Um, 
clearly these dogs have not been fed appropriate diet. Um, yeah, this is not acceptable. And now it makes sense why they wouldn't allow the SPCA onto the properties to to hide the conditions of these animals. And um, yeah, it's it's a contravention in terms of Section 21C of the Animals Protection Act to starve or underfeed any animal. And it's evident these dogs are underweight and they have not been fed um, an appropriate diet. Um, yeah, unacceptable. So what we're going to do now is we're going to also go inside the house to search inside the house to see if there's any animals there. But we're definitely going to take these dogs with us today. As you saw in the beginning of the video when we entered the property, those poor dogs in front were starving. They were gulping up the food. Um, these dogs are also underweight in an unacceptable condition. We're going to be taking them as well. Um, Inspector Mbele is just taking some photos for his criminal prosecution because we're most definitely going to lay criminal charges against the owner for animal cruelty. It's unacceptable. Um, in the, yeah, if, if people can't afford to look after the animals, the SPCA operates on a 24-hour basis, seven days a week, and we will never refuse admission to any animal. And if they ever felt they were in a position that they couldn't look after these animals, they could have phoned us and we would have happily come and collected the dogs. So that option was there. We've been to the property um, numerous times. We've left notices. They haven't phoned us. The first time um, Inspector Mbele was here, they wouldn't allow him onto the property, claiming they didn't have a key, which um, to us it's, it sounds bizarre because a person cannot have a, not have a key to enter your own property and exit. So, um, yeah, and they just ignored our notices. So this is what led us today to get the court order. And we will then be removing the four dogs on the property. We're now going to go inside the house to, uh, to search. Uh, did you take knives? Oh, yeah. And with, with our prosecution cases, it's very important for our inspectors to gather evidence. So that's why we must take as many photographs as we can that we include in our criminal prosecution because we have to prove to the magistrate that the intent of the owners are to allow these animals to suffer. So that's why we're taking some video footage. Let's go into the house and see what's going on. is that in terms of the animal keeping bylaw, you only allow four. So you've exceeded that limit. Do you have snakes or spiders or any other animals? Nothing. Nothing. So where do the cats stay wherever they want to stay? Yeah, in the house? they sleep in my bed, in my bedroom. This is coming to my bedroom. So, and that is my friend and my husband. We are out of work, but he is sleeping the other way, but he's, but he's not here at the moment, so I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. and, and where do you keep the food for the animals? In the back. Can you show us the food, please? Um, oh, no, you mustn't now be confused where you put it. 
Cats only seven. So let's not beat around the bush. Do you have food for the animals or not? Yes, I have. You have. So you're going to find the food for us. Is there any animals in here? Uh, Why? Yeah, I need to see that there's no animals in here. And there's a lady that brings the food for us. She said she, she always works with the SPCA. And this is the food that you have? Yeah, this is the food that she gave us. What food do you give the cats? Whiskers. And whiskers. They, the whiskers? they already ate this morning. They ran out this morning of food. There's the food. Okay. And um, I put this milk over. Okay, let's just see in the other rooms, please. I want to see that there's no animals. Please follow me. Okay, can I just put this away, please? So you're saying you ran out of cat food this morning, am I correct? Yes. This morning, okay. What's in this room here? This is a bathroom. Can you see? Okay. No animals? Nothing. Okay. And this door, the, the guy who lives, who rent this room by me, Oh, it's open. Yeah, I know, but he doesn't... Let's go in. Okay. I need to see, ma'am. No animals, no fish things, nothing, nothing here. Nothing, Okay. All right. Okay, so as I've explained to you in terms of the court order that I read to you earlier, we have the right to seize any animal that we feel is necessary to prevent suffering and cruelty. So we're going to be taking all the animals on the property. We? No. So you're going to have to give your full cooperation. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to put your phone down now. You've had an opportunity to phone, so I need to explain this to you, please. So here's a copy of the full order that I wanted to give you earlier. Um, we'll also need to just see in this gallery. Can this garage open? Can you just give me a minute? I've already given you a few minutes earlier. I know, minutes I earlier. know, but the bike only wants to open. Can this door open from the outside? Let's just see as well. <laughs> Lovely dog beds in here. You should maybe have put them outside for the dogs. Okay. You've taken the dogs. Um, let's load the dog. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to seize the dogs and the cats inside the house. Um, we cannot leave them in this situation. As you can see, that one's underweight. Um, this one is also slightly underweight. The two at the back is also very underweight. They've evidently not been fed. Um, otherwise, they would not have been in this condition. And uh, we're also going to take the cats inside the house. Um, we have the right in terms of the Animals Protection Act and our court order. So we're going to proceed now. And we thank you for watching. If you would like to make a donation, the, the donation link is in, in the text beneath the video. And we would just like to thank the City of Cape Town's Law Enforcement Animal Control Unit for always being ready to assist us in animal cruelty cases and executing our court orders and removing the animals. We would not be able to rescue animals like these um, if it's not for the city and their law enforcement department. And obviously, um, of course, the public for making donations and making this possible um, in order for us to do our job and help animals. So thank you to the public. We appreciate it. And we will post an update um, shortly um, later this week. Thank you so much.